Hi, my name is Leonie and I'm a graduating communications senior. This year, the focus for my portfolio has been on screenwriting. I wrote a pilot episode for an hour long sci-fi mystery show and this is the beginning teaser. To read the rest of my screenplay, it will be up on my portfolio page on the DSOA film website. I hope you enjoy. Exterior, aerial of Boston College flashback day. POV from our helicopter, the campus of Boston College looks destroyed with many broken down buildings. First responders are racing to put out fires and save those caught in them. We can hear the news playing with the newscaster describing the events that led to this. Breaking news, just under an hour ago, a tragedy occurred at Boston College. First responders are currently rushing to the scene to aid the injured and try to salvage the campus. Mayor Cruz and Police Chief Sullivan are about to host a press conference to address the situation. Exterior destroyed campus quad day. We see an interviewer getting set up with a cameraman in the middle of a destroyed quad. A parent is standing off to the side looking distraught. The cameraman makes eye contact with the interviewer and gives a nod. A red dot appears on the side of the camera. I'm reporting live from Boston College where the mass destruction took place almost two hours ago. Here with me is the parent of a student who is currently missing. Can you tell me how you found out about this event? I was just getting off my lunch break. I work in the city, not super far from here. And what brought you here? Ivy, my daughter. I could hear an explosion and then screaming from my office and my first thought was Ivy. The phone started ringing at work but I couldn't answer any of them. Oh my god, what if she was the one calling me? What if that was the last time I would have been able to talk to her? Is everything okay over here? Yes, we're actually in the middle of- Do you know where my husband is? What about my son? My kids, one's a junior and the other's a freshman. Where are our loved ones? I know just as much as you all do. I'm just trying to gather more information. If you would like to be interviewed, please- None of us want to be exploited in front of a camera right now. We want to know where our people are. Why have we seen more police and firemen than actual people? What's going on here? Interior conference room day. Mayor Cruz and Police Chief Sullivan are at the front of the conference room in the police department. They are each standing behind a podium with a mic. We see cameras flashing and filming with reporters in the room. I would like to start off by expressing how deeply sorry I am for all of the families that might have lost a loved one today. Our first responders are doing their best to make sure that all remaining survivors are found. Mayor Cruz, can you tell us what caused the explosion at Boston College today? It's too early to say what happened. We're still surveying the damage and attending to the injured. The victims of this tragedy are our main priority. What's your response to the possibility of this being a terrorist attack? We're not ruling that out, but as of right now, the evidence is pointing against that possibility. And what is that evidence? As Chief Sullivan has stated, it's too early to say what happened today. We will not be disclosing the evidence that we have gathered so far. If that's all, we'd like to... What about the reports on the dozens of missing people? It seems that there are more missing than reported. Yes, some people have not been found, but we are using our resources to figure out where they may be. Anything else? Interior destroyed lab area day, same time. Coming down a destroyed hallway, three people in hazmat suits are investigating the lab area. Jamie, a woman in about her late 30s, is leading the way. Simon and Steph are following behind her as they approach the end of the hallway. I think it all started in this room right here. Lab number nine. The radiation gets stronger as we approach this room. It had to have started from here. I feel like the hairs on the back of my neck are rising. I don't think I've witnessed anything like this. Where do we even start? Let's start by taking pictures of everything in this room. Don't touch anything. Just take swabs of anything that looks like it can be processed. Liquids, vials, dusts, prints, anything out of the ordinary. I think you guys should come over here. Into your conference room day, a little later. Mayor Cruz and Chief Sullivan are still in the conference room with the reporters. They look more weary and annoyed than before. The reporters are still bombarding them with questions trying to get them to reveal what they are. They keep shying away from. Is it true that you guys also have no idea what happened today? As the information is being gathered, we are processing all of it and will be soon relaying it back to all of you. Our deepest condolences are sent out to all of the victims' families. What do you have to say about the fact that everyone on campus hasn't been seen since the explosion? Everyone has disappeared without a trace of where they went. Let's hear about that. There will be no further questions or statements. Please allow all officials and investigators to do their jobs without any interruptions as we find out more about what happened. Interior destroyed lab area day, same time. 
Jamie and Simon are standing around Steph while Steph is staring at what is on the table. Steph's breathing begins to quicken. Jamie and Simon both exchange worried glances with one another. Do you need to take a break outside? No. We completely understand I said no. Now someone please tell me what's going on here. Could the rest of it have been destroyed? I feel like we would have at least seen some of the residues. No. Someone or something must have gotten here before we did. What do we even do now that we know the scene has been tampered with? We keep working as we were, but keep note of anything else that might be off. There's definitely more to whatever happened today than anyone knows. Interior destroyed lab area day continuous. We hear the group in hazmat suits indistinctly talk with each other. A large shadow is slightly down the hall in a corner. His breathing is shallow and he's rocking back and forth as he's sitting with his knees to his chest. As the camera continues to dolly into him, we see that he's about 20 years old and he looks completely disheveled. He's looking more panicked and quickly going hysterical. This is Logan. What have we done? 